Hey there, okay. So, we've got another video full of gameplay with our lovely new hot pot, but before I get to things, I want to throw out the disclaimer right now and let you know this is a dev build. This is not real life Boom Beach. You can tell by the crazy level in the top left, the crazy big D in the top right. This is not normal Boom Beach. That being said, let's get on with the show. Hello there, and welcome to my 150,000 hit point scorcher mania special. Alright, no, not really. It's just more about the hot pot because it's a hot topic in my hot pants. They're pink, in case you're wondering. So as you can see, throwing barrage and artillery at this thing is completely useless. When it's down in its bunker, it takes zero damage and is completely safe. However, if you throw critters all up into its business, you can actually throw an artillery while it's out and burning away the... or well, Artillery or barrage, let's be honest, while it's burning away the critters. Um, this could be incredibly useful for those of you looking for ways to deal with this monster. And it is. It is a monster, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> so, as you could see, uh, because we've kind of had it jump up and down a couple of times now, when it comes out of the ground, there is an initial, almost like, target acquisition sort of phase where it pauses just for a second and then will eventually turn and start attacking its victim. Uh, likewise, while it's turning, that buys you even more time where it doesn't attack and you can just kind of wait for it to move around. Now the good news is that pause gives you more than ample time to drop a shock on the hot pot after it comes out because if you keep shocking it while it's underground that's that's fine and dandy but you're gonna run into a problem where it's never gonna die because your troops are just gonna walk right past it which hey if that's the strategy you are looking for by all means walk right past the the hot pot and it's not gonna be a problem for you now if you're looking to kill it as I showed you right there you can actually wait until it pops up out of the ground if you time your stuff just right and you can shock it while it's out of the ground at that point you can use your scorchers or grenadiers or zookas or whatever to finish off the actual defense now let's go in again this time we're gonna throw some critters get it out of its little hidey hole throw some damage onto it and as you can see after the last critter drops I throw a barrage and I'm able to barrage and kind of work on that hot pot a little bit longer now that is also key because after the last target or victim or offensive unit whatever you want to call it is gone you have a set amount of time where it'll pause and check for more before going down now if you can do damage to it during that phase then you're laughing however as you can see right there with my delayed barrage if you throw that barrage too late you're out of luck mate it is going to just go back down and become impervious to whatever missiles haven't landed yet. So you you got to be careful. It's going to require some timing. You're probably going to want to play with this. Maybe get your buddy in the task force to load one up so that everybody can friendly challenge and experience what this new thing is like. Definitely going to add some interesting gameplay to uh, clearing one's map. And... I don't know I don't know like I, I know they have prototypes in some of the ops and stuff but uh, one of these bad boys chilling around a core devastating oh my goodness I don't even want to think about that it makes me cry on the inside because like all Zuka oh man you're gonna have to like stun this thing that's an extra shock it's gonna be awesome anyways um, so yes, as you can see, one-on-one, -on -one, the Scorcher, like as long as there's 
no damage boost, the Scorcher is able to take the Hot Pot as long as it has 150,000 hit points. Like, the scary thing is it was under halfway, which kind of makes you wonder. So, of course, I, I had to be the guy who pit the Hot Pot up against my ridiculously boosted Scorcher one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and let's not kid ourselves, the Hot Pot is ridiculously boosted as well. And I wanted to see who would win, and the answer is... Oh, oh, mutually assured destruction. Kaplowy, that's right. They will blow each other up, which is key. Now, I wanted to show the Grens again. Gren again? Yes. Uh, because, as I said, you know, it, it's got to be out before the Grens can even attack it. And this is a perfect example where I kept it out by tossing some critters and my Grens were able to bomb away, but the second the critters were gone, down goes the hot pot. Forward go my Grens right into their fiery death. Absolutely beautiful. I can't watch that happen enough. But this is, I think, what everybody really wants to see. The Warriors versus the hot pot. Because, well, come on. It's warriors and a hot pot. <laughs> come on. All right. So, first, I guess, wave. We're going to do warriors straight on the hot pot. As you see, the hot pot pops out and the warriors say, Nah, nah, son. You're gone. And then charge on through. So, the good news is... If you are trying to do a warrior rush, you can target the hot pot, nail it, wipe it out before it even gets a chance to take a single shot, and then you can move on to taking on the HQ, which, you know, I believe is the ultimate goal of the warrior rush. I, I'm not that good with it, but, you know, whatevs. So next up, we're going to go up onto the damage amplifier, let the smokes down below kind of clear and do their thing here we go and then a shock onto the hot pot just flaring all my warriors over and look at those bad boys go they are wailing and this is proof that zero damage comes through until those doors open because that's that's a lot of damage that's 64 warriors just going ham for at least half of that shock all right, now, next round through, we're going in again. This time, smoking our way up. Yes, I am doing a ridiculous job of the smoking. I, I know, don't worry. I would never do a six smoke landing on a beach <laughs> um, without, you know, something silly going on. So... Again, moving all of my warriors off. I just want to show what happens to the warriors if you don't take care of the hot pot. As if they were, you know, on the HQ and... Oh, 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 there, there they go. Anyways, guys, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully this has been informative. Hopefully it's been helpful. Hopefully it's been entertaining. And most importantly, hopefully you guys have a fantastic day playing with your own hot pots.